In today's video, I'll be showing you an amazing way to create and update a real-time scoreboard of any game with Excel spreadsheet for OBS. Now here I am in Excel with an opens worksheet. Let me go ahead and customize this now. I'm calling these cells or boxes players one and two, but you can put names here as well. A little more customizing in this moment here is important because we need our boxes to be the color green and you'll see why later. Now I increased the font size to 72 and now I'm putting in our score numbers and the sum formula to add the total. So we're almost there and as you can see our basic formula in Excel is working like a charm. Moving on, we highlight all three cells and then click on More Options. Then name it and you have to save it as a web page. Here I select Sheet, but do not click on Publish. That's very important. We click Save on the right and then make sure Auto Republish Every Time is saved, is checked and then we click Publish. Then save again, this time as an Excel spreadsheet and calling it My Score Data. At this point, two folder extensions exist. That's My Score Data Excel and My Score, which is the web page. Moving on to the infamous OBS, let's go ahead and click on the plus sign below and add an image where we will be placing our scoreboard image that I have created before this video started. We go to browse, go to my desktop, we'll go ahead and click on my background, which is blue, and then we embiggen it. So now we need another image to add to this background. So let's go ahead and add our scoreboard where all the action will begin. I'll name this scoreboard, click OK, then browse to my display or my image, hit scoreboard, that's my display image, and then hit OK, and there it is. Now we begin adding our Excel spreadsheet web page to OBS by naming it as a browser. First player one, click OK, then we click on local file, we browse back to my score which is the web page, then we click on refresh browser when scene becomes active, click OK, and then we'll go ahead and rinse and repeat for player two and then the total. So this is the part of the tutorial where the moment of truth begins. Let's go ahead and see this baby in action. So I'm going to go ahead and start changing numbers in Excel and we'll just see what happens in OBS. Wait a minute now. Uh, it's not working. The numbers are not changing. How's that possible? No need to worry because what we need to do first is save the worksheet. That's right. We need to save the worksheet first in Excel, then click the refresh button then you'll see the scores updating in OBS. Now this is part of the video you actually can turn off. No, seriously. This is the part in the tutorial where it's the cosmetic part, the most important part, to make your scoreboard pop. What's great about this video and other videos is the ability for anyone to be creative and that's what makes YouTube special. This is a part where you can do it your way. Here I'm touching up my scoreboard by doing the crop filter. Adjust it so each of these numbers are going to appear the way I want them to appear on my scoreboard. And once I'm done with my crop, then I'll go ahead and do another filter in OBS for the finishing touches. Great, so we have Earth versus the Universe. Let's go ahead and make these numbers line up. Now I mentioned earlier the importance of the color green. Well, here we are. Green is the color we need for a chroma key, which is our next creative or cosmetic addition to our tutorial. Okay, so I love what I'm seeing creatively. Only a few more touches. Now I'll show you how to add a chroma key. Right click on our three images and click on the plus sign. And we select the chroma key as an option. There we can make small touches with the image with the sliders, but as you can see already, 
I don't have to make that many drastic changes because the image looks perfect. I just have to place it on our scoreboard, on my scoreboard, and then I am done. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to comment and like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.